we're close to closing in on two years since Sony was the victim of a huge hacking episode right. that brought the studio to a standstill, at least for some days. Yeah. I mean, did, did people had this sort of like mocking thing on their on their. Yeah, um, but you didn't know what that was, and you didn't know who was doing it, and you know, I have to rely on what the U.S. government told me. Mm -hmm. came in or the FBI came in and then subsequently a lot of other people to do the forensics. Did, did you feel that the government was there to, I mean this was an attack by a sovereign, another sovereign country so on a private me, company. Yes, yes. Would you believe that? I right? do believe it. I yeah, do believe it. I mean it. there's other conspiracy theories out there. I know, but I, I'm saying I have to, I, it, it, nobody got in touch with me personally from North Korea, but yes, I believe it completely. Um, and I thought the government actually was terrific. I thought the FBI was terrific. I thought law enforcement was great. Um, the one big lesson I would um, urge people to take away from this is we were, we basically uh, participated completely with the FBI. We did not say at any one point, please don't come in. We allowed them in from day one. And I think- Well, you would want the help, I would think, but- We did want the help. But you know, a lot of people are, a lot of corporations are a little bit reluctant For to sure. allow law enforcement in and go through everything and, and mm. quite the contrary. And then they did the forensics. Were you, um, I, know that, I know that you have, or you did have, I don't know what it is like today, but you were a great supporter of President Obama, you were friends with him. Were you disappointed that he went on television and basically criticized Sony for deciding to pull the movie before he decided to release? No, I said what I said that day and um, I'm an enormous supporter of the president. I think he's done a spectacular job and we're lucky to have had him there. Really That's lucky. very generous. I think it's the case. I think he's been a fantastic president. Well, but he criticized you, I mean, on national TV. You know, he criticized me on national television. I don't, I, but I think in, in terms of him being our president, we should, we should thank our lucky stars. Hmm. Okay, and, and in hindsight, do you feel that's, that you or Sony as a whole was too harshly judged during this hack? because now we've had the benefit, we have hindsight and we have many more instances of hacking. Yeah, I think there was a lot of uh, misunderstanding, uh, leaving aside for a moment the emails and the controversy they created, um, particularly around the celebrity stuff. I think people didn't properly understand the nature of the attack and, and the degree of vulnerability anyone would have had. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was a lot of criticism about our security, there was a lot of criticism about um, whether or not we were adequately prepared. I think what we've seen subsequently is nobody is adequately prepared, certainly not when a sovereign comes after you. Um, it appears that the Russians are doing a lot of damage, whether it's sovereign or not. And that I feel was, that, that, that felt extremely unfair at the time. So. Uh, I it felt it at the time and, and, and you feel perhaps you've been vindicated. I feel vindicated, I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't want this to be perpetrated on a lot of other people, but Having seen it for sure. now, well, it is being it is being perpetrated. It is not being perpetrated, but what I'm trying to say is there nobody that the oddity of it is, I haven't seen one instance post Sony of whatever institution being criticized for having inadequate security. Mm -hmm. That to me is bizarre. So why are why were we singled out? I suspect it's because we were the first.